including a, a 16 year old who reached out to my niece. They go to high school together and said, I understand your uncle's in theater. I was a, involved with Be More Chill. I was a big fan of Be More Chill. Well, he speaks, you know, can I get him on the phone? And we had a 90 minute Zoom call and spoke all about Be More Chill. And he said, he's so excited about theater that now I'm giving him the opportunity to kind of help out with Fly More Than You Fall. And it's That's awesome, like, awesome. He's, he's, 60, he's 16 and this is about a teenager. So it should, there should be to any extent, whatever that extent, his voice on this, whether he does read it for us and, you know, read the script, you know. Mm. So that's what's exciting for me. Because yeah, totally. there's such a standard way of how things usually are done. Mm. And I respect that. And I've worked with amazing lead producers on some amazing shows, like you've mentioned. And now it's time for me to take this beautiful show and like expose it to everybody. I think that's really, ref really refreshing. And it's, it's, it's a really great time to do that because we have had this shutdown and we can um, almost everyone's had a chance to reflect and to reinvent the way things are done is really important and to be collaborative and give, you know, diverse um, voices a, a chance as well. So all those things seem to be getting ticked. You, it's because it's quite, um, uh, at the start-ish of the project, are you looking for, like you said, you want to build a team. Um, how about kind of um, other in investors or producers? Um, how, how is that? Are you in the process of? Um, yes, yes. We, we have been reaching out and I reach out to the ones, some that I've worked with in the past, but a lot of people, again, just like the regionals who have heard about the show, whether it's been through social media, <clears throat> they've been reaching out to me and on, for a lot of the new, young, new producers who this is going to be their first go at it, they want to be involved with the show. They're like the message. Um, they just like the direction we are taking with bringing on new voices. Uh, people could reach out to me at um, Mark at Gemini Theatrical, and that's an email that you have. Um, yeah, we'll put that I, on our post. Yeah, and I'd be happy to share more information and talk to them about how to go about either, you know, getting involved with the Flymore family, whether it's on the producing side or the investing side. And we're doing a lot of things for investors and producers that are, have never really been done before to make mm. it more appealing and more, and to really help producers. Because when I first started producing, it was basically, I was basically told, go out, help raise the money. And when you finish raising it, let us know. And there, there was never any like, no one really told me how to do it. No one gave me advice on how to do it. And as for a young producer or for any producer, you need to be, you, you need guidance. I would have loved 10 years ago when I had, did my first few shows, I would have loved to have had a mentor to kind of help me figure that out. You know, mm -hmm. I did it on my own. I, I figured it out. I've, I've raised money and money for other shows and I've been on the team. But now, how do you bring on, it goes back to the giving opportunities to, to, to new voices, to give them that seat at the table. Um, so we've come up with some ways that even seasoned producers and investors are looking at it like, wow, like <laughs> I want to help, I want to help you. I want to help them understand what it takes to get producer credit or walk you through investing in a Broadway show. Um, and that's going to be fun for me. You know, I'll talk to a prospective investor for 20 hours on the phone about being more, fly more than you fall. See, I still have that because <laughs> getting newer people, it's bringing in new people on a show that's yes. so beautiful that, you know, if someone called me about this show 10 years ago, I would have been like, oh my God, that's, that's what the world needs. And it needs, it, Broadway needs and will, there's going to be a continued space for newer musicals. Um, look, I've been involved with revivals. I've been involved with jukebox musicals. I've been, and they're all so exciting. 
And everyone's got to find their passion. If mm. people are start investing in Broadway or you know, raising money from their friends and family to produce, you got to do it. You got to believe in the show. You got to believe in the producer, the producer that you're investing money under, if that's the case. Or if you're a producer, you need to believe in the lead producer. Because producers are cheerleaders. And cheerleaders get to put together a group of more cheerleaders. And the more more cheerleaders, the more and more people hear about your show. And, and that helps propel a show like Be More Chill, chill to, to a, a fan base of having a half a I don't know, millions and millions, hundreds of millions of people downloaded the music to that show. And I mm. think Flymore has that same pull of the music of the Dear Evan Hansen, the Be More Chill, um, and that story where you will laugh, you will cry, and you will leave the theater uplifted. And Christian, that's mm. what we need. We, want to, we can't wait to all go back to the theater to see live entertainment. And we want to be, I'm gonna to want, to want to leave a show uplifted and excited about the future for America and the world. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love, I love the passion that you've got for, um, for theatre and especially this uh, musical. Um, yeah, re yesterday even I was writing a blog post about um, doing, if you're going to do something, do it with all your heart, otherwise don't do it at all and and you you're really doing this with all your heart and it just sounds incredible and the music is delightful um yeah and i'm i'm 100 positive that it will it'll go very far so yeah okay. thank you for sharing um everything about it and i'll share as much as i can as well on my um social feeds and hopefully get more people in england talking about it and further afield in asia and stuff so yes everywhere 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 <laughs> So, Mark, we've had a great chat about all things Fly More Than You Fall and Broadway in general. Um, and I really, really have enjoyed chatting with you. I just want to ask you one more thing. Um, what does musical theatre mean to you? Musical theatre means to me, you know what? It's bringing people together to share a, a wonderful experience. It's escapism for one and a half to two and a half hours. And, you know, and getting an opportunity to just take your mind out of the everyday world that we live in and escape, escapism. Escapism, exactly. I, I, I completely agree with you. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for coming on the show. I've really enjoyed speaking to you. Same here. I can't wait till we can have a toast in person. I know, I know. And you're just starting out your day and it's coming to the end of mine. Uh, but hopefully soon I can come to uh, the States and yeah, catch up with you in New York City. We're here. <laughs> Broadway is awaiting your arrival. Theatre is awaiting your arrival. And we'll be here to greet you when you step off that plane. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you, Christian. Enjoy the rest I'll, of your evening. I'll catch you soon. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. So this has been Director Chats with me, Christian Bullen, and we've been talking to producer and entrepreneur, Mark Levine. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.